Because of this lecture, we will learn how to create tasks based on resources. Let's go through Plan tab quickly. Open the Plan tab. We can start creating tasks in many ways. First of all, we can draw a line on the Gantt chart and the task will appear. Another way of doing that is we can type a task name and the task will appear in the Gantt chart. Alternatively, we can select a task, go to the Create, choose the drop down and select whether we would like to create a new task above, below or as a child of selected task. For example, let's create one below. Changing task's position as normal or summary task is possible from move, indent, outdent or change position, up or down. As we click to indent the task, the test task becomes a summary task. Another way of indenting task below one another is we can click over the task and drag it over another task. So new task has become a summary activity for task and new task. You can always cut, copy and paste tasks. It's very flexible and synchronous. For example, select a task, choose copy task, then choose paste task. And the task has been copied. The same goes with the cutting task. So you can cut task from the project panel or you can use a shortcut Ctrl X and then Ctrl B. When you change task's position or add delete them from the table, it's better to reassign task ID, which is right over here. For that, select all tasks that you've been reorganizing with a shift and click over reassign IDs. In the appear dialog, you can select the way IDs will be reassigned. You can change an increment or prefix, or you can generate a new pattern. You can write test, suffix 10, and increment will be 5. And OK. At any time, you can also change the ID value. For example, you can change the prefix, so the first three letters will be replaced with ST. Now let's clear the task table and create tasks from the resources. Press Ctrl A, select all tasks, and press delete, and delete all tasks. First of all, let's go to 3D objects and activate topography and planting. For structural elements like foundations, slabs, walls, and so on, we can apply a gravity method. The sequence we select resources is important here. We will select resources in the order that we preferred construction will be. Our order will be, first of all, we will cast structural foundations, then pads, then structural columns, floors, walls, roofs, and lastly, stairs. Now we need to change the link type between tasks from start to start to finish to start. Make a right click over highlighted resource and select create tasks at the root level. Click yes. So we give our consent that we would like to separate our tasks per each resource. Now let's assign a duration of 15 days for all tasks. Type in 15 days in duration cell and drag down this cell by its right bottom corner down and reschedule the project. Now you can play with the data date to hide assigned resources or to see the sequence of our construction. We still have unassigned resources in our 3D view, such as doors, windows, settings, railings, and so on. Let's assume we would like to start mounting doors after walls finished. Let's click on the walls and in the resource tab, Choose Doors and Windows. Change the type link from Finish to Start to Start to Start. Now make a right click over the resources and select Create Tasks below Selected Task. And yes, the Doors and Windows activities have been created below Walls. Click Reschedule, but we have a mistake here. We would like to start doors and windows activities after walls finished. For that, let's change link type. Click over doors activity 
and change its linkage with the walls as finish to start. And reschedule the chart. Now it seems more correct. So after the walls are ready, so we have doors and windows installation. Resources like curtain panels, curtain wall millions, and equipment. I would like to start them after roof activity is finished. So select roof activity, make a right click over the resources, and select create task below selected tasks. Let's select curtain panel and change same type to finish to start. In order to see what resources left unassigned, you can select all activities by pressing Ctrl A and select all activities. Then we can make a right click and select assigned resources. Go to the assigned resources and select invert selection under selection tab. This resource is left unassigned. We are not interested to assign topography to any task, but the rest of resources will assign below stairs activity. Now after we did all assignments, we can play our animation. Open the 4D review tab, change the speed of the animation from one day to one week, and click over play.